So it's pretty fair to say that potentially the most famous person in New Zealand at the moment is Brian Cadigan, who is the Mayor of Clutha, who is uh, under siege by media and individuals around the world because of the offer being made in Kaitangata at the moment. Uh, basically, a uh, home land job package for a microscopic amount of money compared to what most cities are paying uh, around the world. Uh, it, it, just the employment by itself is worth getting there. And he is... He is being inundated, Lisa, yeah. with uh, with people wanting to uh, uh, come along. More He's than 10,000 people have yeah. looked into this. Uh, Libya, Sudan, the US and more around the world, people yeah. are investigating it saying, this sounds like quite a good deal. And don't forget, so this tiny little town only has 800 people in it. So they've got to be inundated if all these people decide to shift up and come, which is great. The mayor, as I said, Brian Cadigan, he describes Joyce Beck, who is obviously a local citizen, as the engine room. I'm not entirely sure what he means by the engine room, but that's what <laughs> she is. So she's the engine room of Kaitangata, and this is what she says about her town. She says, if anything happens in this town, they are all there to support you, talking about the community. Mm. It's not unusual to take in the neighbours' washing. Residents can leave doors unlocked and have a chat over the fence. That just doesn't happen in the city. So that's Joyce Beck saying, look at our amazing little town, who wouldn't want to live here? Yeah, well, Pat, I, don't, I mean, bless Joyce, but neighbours that talked to you over the fence and took your washing and would absolutely give me the creeps. Really? really? Yeah, <laughs> so You're more of a high-rise girl. I just don't want to talk to my neighbours at all. So, yeah, <laughs> small town well, life, not for me. Well, they're painting it as a, as a really nice place to live. And look, it's amazing that um, social media and the way that the world works these days is such a big influencing force, especially mm. within the media. Um, and someone has done it very well there by making up this idea and going with it. In fact, it was a, a local farmer. His name is Evan Dick. And apparently he had the land packages for sale. So he had the idea of putting all of this together mm. and offering it out there. Um, Evan Dick uh, was quoted as saying this. Uh, There's more harmony here, talking of Kaitangata, there is friction over there. You can feel it, talking about other places, especially over in Europe. Uh, the town's getting off its ass. There's a good vibe. So it sounds like a good farmer, does Evan Dick, and he got that out there and came up with the idea. And I guess, if nothing else, the publicity this place has had over the last couple of weeks is amazing. Yeah, it really boosted people. And they do have heroes there, not just Evan, but people like Dallas Stora, who's in a wheelchair, who was behind the skateboard park, which has been a huge success. So yeah, they can definitely organise things in Kaitangata. They're going for gold, as the town slogan says. <laughs> I also saw, I think it was Paul, on Paul Henry's show uh, earlier in the week, that one media source overseas um, reported this incorrectly, and it basically said, free house and mm. land and job. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the mayor, in his very uh, lackadaisical nature, was talking about it on the show and said something like he had 2,800 messages on his cell phone. Saying, so, please pay us to come. So <laughs> good there. idea. That's blowing up. Maybe uh, now a little bit of resource needs to be put into how to handle all this good press. Yeah, yeah. And I love the one quote from one of the locals who said, we well, don't mind who comes. Um, the more exotic, the better. We just don't want any broke Aucklanders. <laughs>